Let's talk about Jason Statham in a car, the transporter build. In this case, the goal is not damage, instead getting from point A to point B very quickly, and it's really useful after you've beaten the campaign once or twice, and or your archetypes are max level, and your main goal is fighting bosses as quickly as possible, or exploring new areas. And to do that, you need movement speed, brother. And in some cases, a smidge of survivalness, or revivalness. Gordon? What the f Archetype Prime one should probably be the Hunter. If you have it, Prime perk, you get revived by the dog, comes in clutch many times. Second skill, if you hold that down, you get movement speed and some health regen, but mostly movement speed for 35 seconds. And your secondary perk is a flat 10% move speed, regardless of the dog being alive or not. Hopefully it does live. All right, Fido, rooting for you. And your secondary archetype should be Explorer. And this is gotten by beating the game and you get like a little compass, turn it in and you get this. Now Explorer, you get Planeswalker. 20% movement speed and the big thing here for some folks would be stamina cost reduced by 80% for all allies last 42 seconds. It's freaking nice. If you don't have anything else, this would be a major thing to have. Like if you don't have a handler, this should be good enough, but it's better to have both. And then you also get swiftness as your trait. 15% increased movement speed. If by chance you don't have these, maybe do challenger as your prime perk for the revive because it's the same but different. In this one, there's no reliance on the dog, although the dog's still pretty good, even apocalyptic. I know folks are saying like, oh, it dies often. If you're just running by enemies, the dog should be able to revive you. But secondary skill for this, you get 15% movement speed for 35 seconds. It's decent, I guess. Power conductor is my amulet or amulet. I gain double skill charges, so two sprints and two wolf howls or dog howls, but increases the cooldown of both abilities by 50% and reduce mod power generation by 15%. Uh, skill duration is not ideal for this, but it's like what? 84 seconds of sprinting from the explorer perk and 70 seconds of sprinting from the dog perk. You should be fine. And then my first ring is going to be hard the wolf. Increase max stamina by 25 and movement speed by 10%. With all this said and done already, I am at movement speed cap, which is apparently 37.5% without using abilities. When you do use abilities, you feel like a slight movement speed increase, but it's nothing, I guess, too crazy. Although it says is, it says it goes insane. Like, let me show you real quick. Schmidge of a flashbang. See? So according to my character, I now have... Am I blind? 65% movement speed. Second ring is going to be Black Cat Band. If you get knocked, you have another revive. This one goes first. If, you, if you're using this ring, you get hit, you get knocked, you get 25% more movement speed, and it has a two-minute cooldown. And if you get knocked again, then your dog revives you, or challenger, return you have equipped. And then we got Bisected Ring. Gain infinite stamina. All damage received is increased by 25%. The infinite stamina is so freaking nice. The damage increase, like, you're not trying to get hit. Trying to just run and avoid stuff to begin with. This is gotten from the back rooms, I believe. And if you're on console, apparently you all can't get that. You should still be fine, but given the other stamina stuff we have equipped, but if you had to change this out or other rings, you have two options I, I, I think I'm aware of. Drawn Memento, increase max stamina by 20 and reduce encumbrance by five. 20 extra stamina would be nice. Momentum Driver, after sprinting for two seconds, movement speed is increased by 15% and stagger level reduced by one. I don't know if that last part makes you get staggered more often, or less often so you have two other options maybe you don't have heart of the wolf you can use uh the driver if you don't have bisected ring use the draw memento and finally stone of continuance gone from nerud just google it i don't know exactly where i i've it's been a long time since i got this but increased skill duration by 25 percent this makes your sprint last longer and also your wolf dog howl last longer as well it's freaking noise as far as your weapons go, mods and mutations don't matter that much. But if you want trimmers, you can maybe get some free XP just walking by, toss us out, staggers enemies, they can't hit you if they're staggered, and harmonizer for more damage, and also, I guess, generating mob power for your stowed weapon. Then Jigolt's energy wall. If you're running, place it in front of you, run past it, and the folks behind you can't hit you for a little bit because now there's a giant wall blocking the damage you'd otherwise take. And a thousand damage is actually a lot. I think players have at base 100 so a thousand's not too bad and then for armor you just want to have the most armor possible and in this case that's going to be little mark one methinks which has gone from beating the game if not a uh, little armor mark two which has gone from the labyrinth and a portal and you can also just google that too like trust me all these things i have or not all but some things i don't know what to do in this game i just youtube it or google it that's what i do and you can min max with your runes I use this for the Havoc build, so I don't really change it that much. And you could have 
where is it skill cooldown skill duration skill cooldown and i guess mod cast speed because i'm pretty sure nothing else gives you movement speed here or anything that's going to help us in what we're doing like maybe you can take a damage reduction oh hey wait wait plus 15 percent stamina stamina cost stamina recovery so you get these better runes by going on apocalyptic and just spamming the vendor it's also based on your actual level in the game so be careful with that I don't suggest changing your traits to the build. Instead, just try and have swiftness. It's very good. And obviously it's from Explorer in this situation. And also expertise in general is very freaking powerful. Minus cooldown reduction and movement speed are the two most important factors. I guess Vigor helps a little bit. And it's also kind of nice. But those are the only three traits that I have that are helping with the movement aspect of just getting from point A to point B. That is a transporter build and some tips I can give when using this build, just run to a crystal and once you pass by it, your checkpoint updates and then you can commit Sudoku, change to an actual damage build and then fight whatever you want to fight. I just got here. If you're running towards doors, you don't have to be out of combat to enter a, like those yellow door things. You can just hit E and go inside. And if you're running in like the labyrinth and you use, a, you use like a, a key to open a door, the key doors you get rolled, but other things you don't. It's kind of weird, I think. For instance, in the labyrinth, using the master portal key, if you open those, you can just run to it, open it, and you can get hit in the process and won't take any damage and then be spamming E to enter. So that's what you can do to really min-max your speed at getting to bosses if that's your goal. Thank you all for watching. It means a ton. And if you guys want to, I do have a TikTok. I post there different kind of content. Check it out. And have a beautiful day or night. Peace.